Bet you thought I forgot about this video series, didn't ya? I didn't. We've just been super busy closing loans. Um, Alright, so this video is going to show you how to make uh, animated GIF for your email signature um, using two different websites. So uh, both of these are free and uh, in, I guess entirely free to use. Um, they have subscription options, upgrades, but for this, you don't really need that. So um, thank you, Jennifer Warren, for suggesting this idea. She had found a service that charges like six bucks a month uh, and said, hey, this would be really cool. And I looked at it and I was like, yeah, that is really cool. So first things first, uh, we're going to make our animated GIF. So basically what that is is an image that will automatically play through different slides. To do this, go to easygif.com and then click on GIF Maker and then choose files. Uh, I've already put the three photos that I want to use in here. So just going to select all three, click open, and then click upload and make a GIF. And it will do something. Okay. So if I want to reorder them or whatever, I'll drag and drop, put them in a different order. It'll say here, your images are not equally sized. Do you want to automatically clop, crop and resize them? Yes. Click that button. So the idea here is we want it to be square. Um, so you can resize them uh, in the next uh, service that we're going to use. But if you get them all close to begin with uh, and do it in here, it, it makes it look a lot better in the end. So um, we've got image one, two, and three. Okay, cool. Down here, we're going to change this number to 110. And then we're going to check the phrase box. Scroll down, click make a GIF, and it gives me this. So it scrolls through. Awesome. All I'm going to do now is click the save button, and it's going to down here. Uh, and I'm going to click like this so that I can come back to this in a minute. So I've got my, my git save there. Now, this is the weirdest website to read. It's si.gnatu.re. So signature with some dots in there. Um, click over here, create a signature, and then basically it's going to fill it all out. It gives you a preview down here um, as you go, so I'll give you some kind of insight on that. So my name, Ian Ashton, job title is Ed Moron. Oh, that's perfect because I felt it weird. And I'm going to put, instead of department, I'm going to put my license number because mortgage will have to have your license number and everything. So it does it like this. Um, in here, for your email, if you check this box, this icon in here, sure. So if you want the icon, check the box. If you don't want the icon, don't check the box. Uh, if you want a title like email, it'll say that. I think this looks best, though, just like that. Um, my phone, I'll put... Uh, I don't use a separate phone, and I don't know my facts, but I'm going to just put one in there so that you can see what it looks like. Cool. My website. Man, I'm really uh, batting a thousand with the capitalizations. All right, so then it gives you a link there. Everything looks good. If you want your address or your organization name, you can put that in. I'm going to leave that out for this. If you need a disclaimer in the footer, like your information is secure or something, you can put that there. Now we're going to go to Images. Click Choose Logo, and it pops up this box. This is to upload. If you already have it, Google Drive or a link, don't worry about that. So I've got this window open. Now I'm going to come back to here and drag the file that we made on the other website and drop it right there and click upload so now it will at some point update and put my image here so this looks stupid right we got to keep editing don't worry if you want there to be a banner a different link if you have a banner uh, that would be like a long skinny one you can do that and put a banner in there or whatever. But for this, we're just going to do it this way. Social, you can go in and put your Facebook stuff. So Caliber TC, your LinkedIn, Ian uh, Ashton. By the way, go be my Facebook and LinkedIn friend. You know, there's a million different social networks in here. Um, you're watching this on YouTube, yet I don't know my YouTube name, so YouTube would be something. Okay, so again, we've got all of this. Looks okay, but still looks kind of stupid. Processors are talking. Click on design. Now, if you change the logo position to left, that's starting to look better. Now, I don't really like this line. 
So I'm going to say divider weight, zero. I want to use bold for titles, so it's going to make name bold. That's looking pretty good so far. Um, you can play around with text layout over here. So minimal is what we have stacked. Puts it all like that. Columns. If you have an address, it would give you multiple columns. I think that that minimal looks best, though. Um, if you want to change font sizes, like if you want to be really big, like that. Um, body size would be like the rest of the text. You can change everything. You can play around with it as much as you like. So, assuming that this is how I want it to look. I'm going to click Finish Editing. Now it's going to say, if you want to upgrade for using Gmail or G Suite, you can do it. You don't have to. Here's going to be the next tip. Over here, click Select Preview, and then do Control C. So that's going to copy your signature into here. Now, if you use Gmail or G Suite, go to your Gmail, and click this little gear thing, and then go to Settings. In your signature, scroll down, sorry, go to Signature, and Paste, and that's it. Okay, so right now it's kind of space weird. If you want to edit that, you can, you know, play around with it. You can always edit the basic formatting in here. If I like that, click Save Changes. Now I'm going to compose an email to myself at my work email address just so we can see what it looks like. And we're done with this for now. Open up my Outlook. By the way, this stuff is so gross. Okay, so if I go into here, here's the email. And that's what it looks like. Uh, if you use Microsoft uh, Office to set up a new signature, open up a new email. Again, just push Control V. It'll paste in your email signature. Delete my old one out. And then if I want to, again, tighten it up, delete some of these spaces out. Oops. You know, whatever you might come up with. Do Control A, Control C, then go to Signature. Signatures, new, test one, right click, oh, you can't click paste, push control V to paste, put your signature in there, click OK, and then you've got it. So that is how you can put an animated GIF in your email signature and have it uh, be do so for completely free. Like, share, subscribe, and there's Daryl. Oh, there's Helen.